Now, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is headed to Israel. His mission in West Asia is largely to prevent a wider war, even as Washington is strongly backing Israel in the war against Hamas. In a show of solidarity with Washington's closest West Asia ally, Blinken will meet senior Israeli officials, possibly including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, to discuss further boosting military support. Before departure, Blinken said he was going with a very simple and clear message that the United States has Israel's back. You know, he will work uh, with regional Israel U.S. allies to try and secure the release of, of up to 150 hostages held by Hamas in Gaza, some of whom may be American citizens. Hamas gunmen rampaged through Israeli towns over the weekend, killing over 1,200 people and taking hostages along the way. At least 22 Americans were killed during the attack. Israel re retaliated with airstrikes on the Gaza Strip, which continues as we speak. Over 1,200 people have been killed in the relentless airstrikes in Gaza, which is under a total siege by Israeli forces since Tuesday. Now, a top priority for Blinken will be to convey a message of deterrence. Any such message will likely be aimed at Iran and Iran-backed groups such as Lebanon's Hezbollah to stop a wider war from erupting. The U.S. president has already cautioned Iran in very clear terms. We're surging additional military assistance to the Israeli Defense Force, including ammunition, interceptors to replenish the Iron Dome, and we've moved the U.S. carrier fleet to the eastern Mediterranean, and we're sending more fighter jets there in that region. And made it clear, made it clear to the Iranians, be careful. Blinken's trip announcement does not include a West visit to West Bank. On previous trips to the region, Blinken visited the West Bank controlled by the Palestinian Authority. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.